Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. Here I have the Asus Gaming Laptop, and in this video here, I'll be doing a teardown step by step. I'll show you how to maybe remove the battery, uh, you know, do a battery replacement, change the hard drive, or add additional RAM, remove the motherboard, things like that. Just a complete teardown step by step, and I'll explain to you what are the things that you can upgrade and what are the things that you can do a replacement. So let's go ahead and get started. So just wanted to show you this is the top of the screen and the keyboard looks something like this. So if you have the exact same model, you can go ahead and follow along with the tutorial. And the same time, if you want to verify the model number here, this is the ASUS GL703GE. Okay. And this is the, uh, the, um, the tag for this model here okay so let's go ahead and get the uh, Phillips screwdriver what I'm having here is the electronic screwdriver just a regular Phillips uh, screw nothing really special so go go ahead and remove that if you're watching this video to get yourself uh, to do your own repair maybe you might want to have uh, change out the battery because the battery is not holding the charge or your battery um, is swollen you feel like the battery uh, is not working too good then um, this video is going to help you to, 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 to uh, help you with that process So the two middle screw here, I would say the medium size. On the top here, they are all longer. And the bottom left and right here are the shortest one. So this is the short one, I would say. And this is the medium. And this is the longest. Okay, so the short one only applies to left and right at the bottom here. Uh, the, the other two here are the medium size. And the rest of it is the longest screw screws. So let's go ahead and get this rubber removed. We need to remove the uh, the back cover of this. And once you remove this back cover here, you can see that uh, the hard drive is installed. This is the regular hard drive. If you want to speed up your computer by installing the M.2, this is the slot for installing the M.2. Or if you want to upgrade to a solid state drive, you can clone the regular hard drive over to the solid state. I have a video separate to dedicate on how to do the cloning, meaning that you can keep all your windows, your programs, the settings all stay the same by cloning over from one hard drive to the other. So, uh, I'll have the video in the link I have in the description below so you can click on the link and it will direct you to my other video all right so this is the uh, regular hard drive let's put that on the side so once you have the screws removed we can go ahead and uh, pry open the back cover Okay, so once the back cover is removed, here you can see the entire um, laptop. So this is the battery, and to slide the battery connector, you want to slide it down. That's how you open up the uh, the the connector. Now there are screws that's holding onto the battery. Four screws total, three of them are the regular Phillips and this one is the flathead Phillips. Okay, and once you have the four screws removed, you can actually uh, take out the battery. Now if you want to do the battery replacement, go ahead and look, look for this model here. It says B41N1711. So 
So this battery looks good. It's not swollen or swell anything like that. But if your battery is has a lump on it, that's the time when you need to replace the battery immediately. Okay, so this is the additional RAM slot where you can add the DDR4 RAM. And the current RAM is already installed on this side of it. And if you want to add additional RAM, you have extra slot to do that. And again, this is the uh, M.2 solid state drive. You can go ahead and change that to that. Or you can install the one that the uh, uh, the regular hard drive here. Okay, so the next step I'd like to show it to you is to disconnect the uh, DC jack connector. So this is where you uh, plug in your charger to charge up the computer. And the connector is pretty simple to remove. Just go ahead and push it away from your body. That's how you remove the DC jack. And if your DC jack here is broken, let's say you, you something get jammed in there, you broke off the DC jack, and this is what you need to do to, uh, to, to, to re replace or remove the DC jack. Okay, there you have it. Again, you can't really push the entire hinge up because I haven't removed the uh, the CPU fan that like the heatsink is blocking it. I just lift up a slightly little angle so that I can slide the uh, DC jack out immediately rather than removing everything. So if you're planning to replace the DC jack, this is how you're going to do it. And if you want to look up for the model number, I believe the model for this is uh, this one right here, DD0B. KNA D010. Okay, and of course you need to uh, pry open the uh, uh, the LCD connector as well. Now um, let's go ahead and remove the heatsink and the CPU fan. At least we can uh, uh, show you what it is, and I'll explain to you what you can do when you when you um, uh, open up the heatsink. To disconnect the CPU fan, just go ahead and slide the connector connector down on the left left uh, fan and the right fan as well. You can just slide the connector down. There's no secure clip or anything. It's just a connector that slide in and slide out. Okay, as you can see, once you uh, loosen up the screw, this, these three screws here, they are not removable. Uh, they just stay there. You can only loosen it up. So once the thing is loose, you can remove the, uh, the heat sink. Once you have the heat sink removed, what you want to do is, I'll explain to you, these are what we call the thermal pads. The thermal pads are the one that try to conduct the heat from the chipset over to the heatsink and this is your CPU uh, CPU and a graphics card as you can see that the thermal paste is not that much left here it's all dried up so use the uh, uh, one of those what do you call the alcohol wipes and wipe it down and apply with the new thermal paste so that that way um, you would have a better cooling system so these are uh, these are the uh, thermal uh, paste that I was talking about and the uh, alcohol wipes and go ahead and wipe it down and apply with this after okay and the thermal pad 
looks still good to me you don't have to change it out but if you want to change it out you can buy the entire pad it comes with like maybe this size of it then you can actually cut it into the shape that you want and apply it onto the uh, motherboard all right so i'm going to flip the hinge up about 90 degree angle here on the top right and I can do the same on the left side of it. Okay, so before I can do that, I got to make sure that the uh, Wi-Fi cable is removed. They're kind of like a Lego that snap onto it. And if you want to remove it, you just lift it up. Okay, so once you have the three screws removed on the hinge, you can actually uh, push it up a little bit. Let me see. Okay, so I have the hinge flip up. Now, what you wanna do is, the next step, if I'm gonna remove this one, and in other words, that means I have the entire keyboard the palm rest and the keyboard is removed okay and then we have the screen left behind here so if you want to do a screen replacement I mean by the full assembly meaning the hinge the connector the Wi-Fi is all together in one big piece like this excuse me this is how you're gonna do it the step by step now if you want to just change out the screen uh, you need to remove the bezel it looks like there are screw that screw onto here. So there's one screw and one on, on each side of it. Once you remove the screw, remove the bezel, and you get to the LCD screen. Now in this video, I'm not going to do that screen replacement, but at least I'll show you how to replace the entire um, assembly, the, the screen assembly. All right, when it comes to the motherboard, uh, let me go ahead and point out to you, this is your CMOS battery. And if you want to reset your BIOS, you can go ahead and remove the battery, wait for about five to 10 minutes, and that's how you reset it. Now the keyboard here is actually punched down, and you can't change the keyboard, but you have to change the entire palm rest. Let's go ahead and remove the uh, motherboard, okay? Shall we? Disconnect the speaker, just slide the connector down. This is the uh, touchpad. Go ahead and disconnect the touchpad. And the keyboard looks like it's connected on the other side of the, uh, uh, the motherboard. So just leave it for now. Or maybe not, I'm not too sure. It looks like this might be the keyboard. Yeah, this is the keyboard. I wonder why they run up along in the back of it so so go ahead and open up the clipper the clipper just flip straight up that's how you disconnect that clipper remove the screws remove the power button here Okay, so this is how the entire um, motherboard comes right out. And if you want to do a motherboard replacement, you can look it up for this model here. It says DABK and BMB 8D0 uh, version D. Look it up on eBay um, or Amazon. You might be able to find a replacement or a used part. Um, that's pretty much it. Oh, look out for this model right here as well. Okay, so this is the entire mud, uh, motherboard. That's how you replace and remove the motherboard. Now, like I said, the uh, keyboard is not replaceable because the keyboard is actually punched down by the manufacturer uh, the way they make it. So in order for you to uh, replace the keyboard, 
you would have to replace the entire palm rest this whole thing together okay sorry to say that but that's how the design is so other than that uh, pretty much is straightforward for the teardown if you have any question just comment below i wish your repair a success and please comment what type of repair that you're doing and did you get it done successfully just comment below and let me know how you did it i like to hear from you and i like your feedback as well so uh, please subscribe hit the like button and i'll see you the next time take care